Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I will be doing a collection video. I will be doing a I will be reviewing and talking about a little bit about my knot collection. Uh, the knots are playing cards by Alex Pandrea. I assume you guys know a little bit about them if you guys have clicked on this video, but I will talk about them a little bit and I also will talk about um, all the decks I have and I can almost guarantee that I have some decks of cards some knocks uh, that you've not seen yet. I have made a full deck collection video, make sure to check that out. But as I said, uh, I've gotten some more decks since then that you guys have not seen, so I thought I'd make this knock collection video. Uh, so without further ado, let's take a look at my knock collection. Alright, so now I'm just going to talk a little bit about all my knock decks. As I said, I have uh, 18 or 19 depending on what qualifies. Uh, not that they are that not that they are not all knock decks, but I do have duplicates of one of the decks. But anyway, so without further ado, I'm gonna get into my decks. Uh, I hope this does not take too long. I'll try and keep this pretty succinct about each deck and just talk a little bit about them. So the first deck I'm going to show is the Knock 3000s X ones. These are a this is a futuristic deck. Uh, I guess probably would take place in uh, two thousand in three thousand. Sorry, um, and yeah. So this is the first deck. This is what the back design looks like. Similarly, sorry uh, for that. My my fingerprints. Uh, but yeah, these are the knock three thousand X ones, and this is the limited edition knock three thousand X ones. I have actually not opened these, but these there were only three thousand printed, and so I have one. I have one of the 3,000. The next deck, let me put these back, would be, continuing in this series, would be the Knock 3000's X2. Uh, again, this is the non-limited edition. This is the purple edition. As I said, the non-limited edition. It is similar. Sorry if you guys can see my fingerprints. I guess my hands are a little moist or something. Um, but yeah, so here's this. And then I also do have, let's put this to the side, I do have the limited edition of the second one as well. I actually have opened this because I did review both of these on my channel. Uh, and again, only 3,000 were printed. So yeah, those. that is the Knock 3000 uh, line of of cards. I'm not sure if they're going to be a Knock 3000 X3s uh, in the future, but yeah. Uh, now onto the Super Knox. The Super Knox is a Knock, again, it's a Knock series that he has started. There are only two decks, I guess you could say, in the series. Uh, this is the first one. These are superhero and comic book themed. I believe the first one was Superman and the second one was Batman. So you'll see that this is the deck. It has this design like it was a comic book, um, 10 cents, 52 pages of action. Uh, then I also have the limited edition version. Uh, you guys will see this throughout, is that I do have the limited edition versions of a lot of decks that I did get because, yeah, I always just thought it was a good thing to get the limited editions as well, if possible. So these are the limited edition Super Knox. Uh, these are silver. I don't know how that picks up on camera. Yeah, you guys can see that on camera there. It picks up kind of pretty well. Um, yeah, so those are the silver edition. Then we move on to... The second edition, the Batman version, so it's a similar box, just different coloration, again with the 10 cent and everything like that. Wow, uh, sorry for this prints, these uh, fingerprints that might be showing up. And then the limited edition one. The other one was silver, this is dark gray. I know this box does not necessarily look dark gray, it could pass as a black box. But I believe the actual playing cards um, are black or are dark gray with this same color yellow going around the outside as the border. I have not opened these this deck, but I do know what they look like. Then we move on to another series that I have more recently reviewed, and that is the Minox. You'll see the metal edition. 
uh, the first deck, and you will also see the second deck, um, the leather edition. And this is where the 18 or 19 comes in because I actually do own uh, two decks of the leather deck. Uh, I have a open version and I have an unopened version, so that could be the difference between 18 or 19 decks. Then we get to one of my only that is more so a color, um, with less of a story behind it, and that is the Brown Knox. Uh, some people gave it the nickname Knock on Woods <laughs> because they are brown and obviously they're Knox. Uh, so yeah, these are brown. Um, and yeah, I've opened these a little bit. Um, and I've used them a little bit, but yeah, so these are the brown knocks that I own. Next, we go to another series, and that is uh, the season de uh, knocks, I guess you could say. Um, at least there are the summer knocks. These are actually technically the second edition. Uh, he made a first edition a while, while ago uh, when he was not printing with the United States Playing Card Company. So these are the summer knocks, the orange edition. And I also have the blue edition. And sticking with the season uh, theme, he then came out with the winter knocks. Uh, there are, again, there are other colors other than the blue and uh, orange. There is a light pink, I believe, as well with this winter knocks. I think this is the rarest color. I do not own any other colors, but these are the winter knocks. These are like a, a forest winter green I guess you could say um, yeah and only a thousand were printed now we go to decks that are not in a series uh, then we go to the Fort Knox uh, it is a gold deck and Fort Knox is actually a place I know everyone probably thinks of Fortnite as, as, as soon as it's said but Fort Knox is a place and also a fun fact about this deck is that because it's represented by gold, or represented Tiv of gold, rather, uh, each week the cards went up by $20, so originally they were 20 or not by, sorry, not by $20, uh, by $2, so the first week it was $20, the second week it was $22, and so forth. Then we get to a deck that was part of a convention. I believe this was... I'm not exactly sure where this convention was held, but it was the Magic 8 uh, convention, and a f only a small amount of these were made because they were made for this convention, and then he had some extras that were for sale. Then there are another convention deck, the Cardistry Con deck. These are very interesting they are I don't even know how this camera is picking it up I can actually just check oh yeah now you guys can definitely see it's uh, like holographic I guess you could say um, yeah and like neon uh, colors and with some number here as you guys can see here um, so yeah the last deck are actually the Shin Lim Knox this is a collaboration between Alex Pendrea and Shin Lim they are friends uh, sorry, if you guys can see this, this might be bothering you guys, the cellophane here. I uh, don't actually know what happened with it. Um, but anyway, so yeah, these are the Shin Lim Knox. These are a collaboration with them, a signature deck. And uh, the Knox have done it with other people. They've done it with uh, Murphy's Magic. Obviously, it's not a person, but they've done it with that uh, Murphy's Magic. Uh, they've done it with Laura London. And a fair amount of other creators. Those are just the ones that I can think of off the top of my head. But uh, those were not made in the same era uh, of, of, of printing, and these were made, uh, these were not printed by the United States Playing Card Company, but these uh, were, or this deck was, I guess, rather. So yes, everyone, uh, that was my not collection. I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, and now into the intro. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching my knock collection. Hello, all right, everyone. Uh, that was my not collection video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I did tell you that this video would be coming up, and here it is. Um, I also said in my last video before this, or one of my previous videos, um, that I could also do this with other uh, types of playing cards. Uh, I could do this with 
other all my other uh, decks that I own by Alex Pandrea because there are a lot that um, are not knocked. Um, that is what he's most known for, are not, but there are many others. I could do that of illusionist decks of cards, theory 11 playing cards, bicycle playing cards, and uh, I actually don't even need to make another video like this if, if it doesn't seem necessary. Uh, of course, if you guys have interest in that, just let me know and I will make that. But I also have other video ideas that I am planning on making in the future, so I can definitely just make those. Uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy, and if you did make it make it this far, that means you did enjoy the video, so make sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.